I want to speak very, very clearly. No matter what your opinion is on Ukraine, whether you agree with Russia, you don't like Russia, uh, you, know, you support Ukraine, blowing up the Nord Stream pipelines is a completely different beast. This is civilian infrastructure. The media know who blew up Nord Stream. They all know. They all know that the United States blew up Nord Stream. Very, very few states are capable of doing this, this sort of sabotage. Who has the motive to do this sort of thing? Again, it's, it's maybe the U.S. and the U.K. That's who comes to mind. And it was the U.S. They say, oh, well, if Putin invades, there will be no Nord Stream 2. They were planning this before there was any invasion. They were planning this for months. And they've been saying for years, right? The CIA say, oh, it wasn't us. The White House, oh, it wasn't us. They always say this. They always say this with, you know, with the NSA mass surveillance, <laughs> with Watergate, with the Bay of Pigs, with the Miley massacre, with Abu Ghraib. They always come out with these lies. And then we know for sure it was them. Look at these European leaders. These people calling themselves European leaders. Your ally, your ally just blew up your cheap uh, source of gas. Your ally committed industrial sabotage against your civilian inf infrastructure to further their political goals. Your ally committed an act of state terrorism against you and you do nothing? You say nothing? You don't know who did it? You got no results after months of investigation? Bullshit! Bullshit! Shame on you, you goddamn cowards! You spineless hacks! You call yourselves leaders? You don't represent anyone in Europe! You, you, you represent Uncle Sam! You're a ca you are cowards! Schultz is a coward! Sunak is a coward! Macron is a coward! They, they, don't, they have no self-respect! You let your ally blow up your infrastructure and you don't say a word? That's your friend? Who needs enemies with friends like that? Do, you, do they have the self-respect? Do they have what it takes? Do you have the dignity to stand up for yourselves, for your countries, for your people, and call the Americans out for doing this? Again, you can dislike Putin all you want. You can criticize Russia all you want. I really don't care. I could not care less. But let's stop kidding each other with these fairy tales. The Russians didn't blow up their own pipeline. The Americans did it. Seymour Hersh has, has proof now from a source with direct knowledge of the planning, and the media are too afraid to say it. The media are cowards. And so now, you know, they're calling this a blog post? A blog post? What is this, some fucking teenager writing a poem? This is Seymour Hirsch. He's a journalist, and just because he published it on Substack, they don't like that. He published on Substack because the New York Times, because all these outlets won't run this story, probably. Because they're too coward to do it. Instead, they make up conspiracy theories. They go cuckoo and say it was Russia. No, it wasn't. You are cowards. European leaders, you are cowards. Media, journalism is dead. Legacy media, you are cowards. Do your goddamn job.